Welcome back into episode five on the counting principle. In the previous episode, we started to talk about restrictions. And if I can remind you, we then said there are restrictions on positions. And then secondly, there are restrictions on groupings. So it's two different kinds of restrictions. So it's extremely important when you deal with a problem that you very first of all, the first thing you need to do is, is to determine if they can repeat or not repeat. Secondly, if there are any restrictions. If there are, do they restrict positions or do they form group, a group or groups? Now, if I can explain to you this whole thing of, of grouping first, is that the example we're going to look at is about five males and five females, and we want to arrange them. We want to seed them. Now, you can already hear that there are different ways we can do it. We can arrange the, the five males together or the five females together. Now, how do we deal with a grouping like that? So let's look at this problem and I explain to you what you do in a case of grouping. This example, like I said, is a group of 10 people. And these 10 people consist of five men and five women. These 10 people are to be seated on a bench. How many possible arrangements are there? And now they say if, and that means they're going to put down a restriction. So we have 10 people that we need to arrange. Five of them are males, five of them females. How do we arrange them? The first part is all the men have to sit together. But please take note, the females don't need to sit together. It's only the males. So if we arrange the five males, then I'm going to draw five lines. Five males can't repeat because these are people. It's not like letters that can repeat. So it is five, four, three, two, one. And if we multiply, we get five factorial. So that is just the males that must be seated together. So no one of the females are allowed to be in between. Now, once we are finished with this, you will now notice that these five men forms a group. And that group we can arrange five factorial ways. But now we need to bring the five women back. So when the females join, it means the females can sit anywhere, but they can't sit between the males. They can't sit here. They can sit on this side or on that side. Uh, two of them here, three of them there. That order doesn't matter. So now what we do is this group of five males will count as one. And we have now the five females. So now we need to arrange six of them. And I want you to listen very carefully. Why six? Because it's the five females as well as the group of men. The group of men, we already arranged them because that is the grouping five factorial ways, but now we need to join that group with the five females. So now we can, we arrange this as six, five, four, three, two, one. And this gives us, if we multiply, six factorial. So for our final answer to this question, we're going to take the five factorial, that is the grouping of the men, we count them as one, we add the five women, 
So that means there are six for us. Remember, number six is a group. It's not only one. Because when we move the group, all of them move. No one moves in between. And that is why we've got six. And now we need to multiply five factorial as with the six factorial. And that will give us 86 four zero zero and that is the answer if we group the males together so we can group the males we can group the females we can group both so let's look at the next one the next part of this question is where they want us to to group the men together and the females together. So before we do the solution, I would like to explain to you how to look at this by using my fingers. There are five men. We're going to group them together. The five females we're going to group together. You can clearly hear that there are two groups. One group with men, one group with females. So now, if I arrange the males, it will be 5 factorial. Remember what we said before? Because it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5 factorial. When we arrange the females, because the, the, um, the females now also is a group, you get 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, which is also 5 factorial. So our answer will be 5 factorial times 5 factorial. But now please remember the men can be first and the woman second, or we can switch them around. So that means we need to multiply by two. Let's now look at the problem and see what the solution is. It's again the 10 people, five men and five women. How do they want us to arrange them? They say all the men sit together and all the women sit together. So we have two groups here. Not only one group like the previous one. So we've got a group with the males. And we've got a group with the females. Remember, the restrictions we always do first. When I arrange the males, it will be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Remember, this is 5 factorial when I multiply because people can't repeat, so they don't need to say that. The females is also 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, which is 5 factorial. So this is a group, the females a group, and to arrange the males, 5 factorial, to arrange the females, 5 factorial. So we're going to multiply that. But we now put the males first and the females second. Remember, when we arrange them on a bench, the females can be first and the males second. So we will get this again. So that means we multiply by 2 for the sake that the two groups can change around. So our answer for to this one is 5 factorial on your calculator times 5 factorial times 2 and your answer 28800. So let's look at the last part of this question. In the next part of the question, they want us to arrange these 10 people, 5 men, and five women and they have to alternate between men and women. This is a problem that you must approach very carefully. So let's start by drawing our 10 lines. The 10 lines represents now the 10 people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They what they want is, they want us to alternate between men and women. So if the first one is a male, the second one must be female. 
then it must be male and the second one must be female. Then it must be male and then female, male and then female, and then male and then female. So if we look at arranging the males, we're going to look at all the positions, those five positions of the males. There are five of them. So this one, any one of the five, this one, four, this one, three, two, and one. Remember, people can't repeat. Now I do the same with the females. Females, there are five of them. So that is the first female, any one of the five in this position. Four remaining, three, two, and one. So that is how we will do the arrangement. Now, many people want to work this out with squares and say five squared and four squared. It's not wrong if you want to do that. It's just easier to look at the males only and say the males gives you five factorial. The females, five, four, three, two, one, is also five factorial. So we need to say five factorial times five factorial. And many times people see this as the final answer to work this out. It is not the case. Please take note, and that is the, really the catch to this question, is that we started with a male. They didn't say the first one must be a male. We can switch them around and start with females. So we get exactly the same situation. Only difference is it will be female, male, female, male, etc. So that means we need to multiply by two. So there are two ways that we can do these arrangements. And now, if you calculate this on your calculator, you will get the answer of 28800. Now, this is the end of this episode on groupings. Please remember, in these five episodes, first of all, we discuss what the country principle is. Secondly, we look at repetition or no repetition. And then in episode four and five, we spoke about restrictions. Restrictions in terms of positions or restrictions in terms of groups. Now, the, all of this you really need to be able to, to understand so that you cope with our following episode six, where we now going to combine all of these previous ones in one question, and we're going to bring in probability. So I see you in the next episode.